Um, <laughs> it's getting light here at the academy. I just traveled about nine hours and I taught classes and I decided to slip into something a little more comfortable. Um, this was all we had last week, so this is all I had to put on. But I wanted to show you some things that we taught tonight in class. Uh, this is with the Olissi Daga. I know most people call it a spada daga, but this is stick and dagger. I'm exhausted, but let's just go over a couple of these for you. So, a little different angle. Yeah, so the number one comes in, you see, you're going to respond like you would if it was an inside deflection. If you don't know inside deflection, go back to that. So, what I do here, I stab, see, now watch. This is where it gets tricky. When it comes in and I go, I don't want to necessarily disarm it this way. You, you find a structural problem going on here, correct? So what I want to do is, see, I press it out. Now, I don't worry about this stick once I have it. Because when I handle the next shot, that goes in. Now, this can be brachial plexus, which kills the arm, but doesn't necessarily kill the man. If I want to enter with a lethal entry, I could do that too. Now, obviously, you guys know some of these disarms, and then we can have follow-ups. Okay, a couple points I want to bring out with that. So he goes in one, two, three, and this one, that's it. As a beginner, I teach you to use the thumb. That's fine. I really, as I'm getting older in this art, I really uh, stress keeping the thumb on the blade or even close fist as much as possible. In fact, Hawk Akima, a friend of mine, and I can see him as inspiration and even an instructor, he calls this the cancer grip. As I get older in this game and has been through some of the street experience that I've been through, I kind of start agreeing with him on that. Keep this thumb close to watch. The number one cut, see, I'm here, that, that's into the structure. You don't need the thumb. This hooks, see, that hits. And then you can go back and add your follow-up shots. That's the first one. I got a couple more for you. Watch. Second one. Hold your both arms out here. Worst place to be in a weapons fight. If this is a stick, that could be a fist. This is a stick, that could be a knife. This is a knife, that could be a fist. Double knives. It doesn't matter. Being in the middle is where you get stung the most. So if I want to go to the outside, but he's giving me the number one, there's a couple options. First one is this, the number one comes, see I spike it and I hit this shot. This is already into the structure. I'm already breaking its balance by stepping on the foot. You see it? Okay, so I want to handle this one next. So I zone. See, that shot from there, and we have these same mm, shots as we had before. Second concept, I'll show you a couple more just because we're having fun. I haven't taught in a week. My voice is a little harsh, but, but we got this. One more time. So see the shot comes again. That time I used the blade. I'm trying to clip the fist. I may try to clip the fist with the stick. It's a spike. It goes straight up. Don't do this. Number one mistake with beginners. Stop looking at the guilt. Number one mistake with beginners. Watch. It goes straight up. And I, che I, I check it. This is already into the structure. This is in, it's checking. See, I blast this too. That's the shot. And then I'm right back to where we started from. I'll show you one more and we'll close this very impromptu and crazy video. Watch. When I switch the, the, the shot, see, I switch it from here. That's fine. This could probably be into this. Go, 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 go. This would be into the structure. Watch. If you want to take it a little slower, when I switch the shot, see this hits and hits. This monitors. I use the stick, not the arm, because again, problems. I hit it. The shot comes in, and you can finish it from there. Give those a shot.